and welcome to my channel. My name is Renee and I am a stay-at-home mom of two. We homeschool and my husband um, works from home and we are a one income family. Today's video is going to walk you through my cash envelope and sinking fund system. Um, so let's get started. You will notice that this looks a lot like the budget mom's layout. I made it my own and kind of adjusted it to what fits with our family and our savings needs. So um, you will notice some custom things that I did on here. Um, all of my bills are paid online. So every check we take out half for each bill and we keep it in a separate bills account um, that the bills get paid out of. So all of this has already been transferred into that account. Um, now moving on to cash envelopes. Um, groceries usually get $225 and we had a total this time of $450. I always have $450 at the beginning of each month because I shop once a month for groceries. Um, however, I did need groceries before filming this so I did already spend quite a bit of it and I do have 120 left. So let me get, I'm going to put 50s in there. And I am getting new envelopes. I just haven't yet. We did a no spend January, so I didn't purchase anything. So the total for that is usually 450. That should say 225. Um, but because I only do it once a month, just I put 450. Gas gets 110. And we will do gas I usually do it this way so that each time we go. Um, we just put 25 in and that is usually what fills up our tank um, or gets us through the whole week because like I said my husband works from home so we don't really go many places especially with the pandemic and things like that so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, and 110 so that all goes into gas. So now in my gas envelope, there is a bunch left over. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. This is from last paycheck. I'll put that off to the side and I will show you what I do with that. So let's put one, 10, 25 and I will show you what all is in here. I am <laughs> pretty minimalist. I don't really buy a lot for myself so I haven't really been spending money on anything. Um, I'm thinking about what I want to purchase. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a good quality handbag. I'm not sure but we'll see. Okay, one. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have $408 in there. I am just going to put 25 because that is what I put in for this week. For this paycheck dining out so this is a new envelope for us we normally don't eat out but we are wanting to maybe add a day or two a month that we do um so i made a new envelope like i said i'm getting new envelopes i just haven't pulled the trigger on any yet so dining out gets 20. Medical gets 20 as well, and I do have some left over in there, so I'll take that out. 
this is for anything like uh, vitamins or anything extra. Usually our HSA covers a lot of it, but just in case. Looks like it's 20. Okay. Toiletries. Toiletries get 10. And there's nothing in there. It's getting replenished. Okay, this is my um, rollover envelope. It used to be for like a prime membership and then we had like cash savings for a mattress that we have already purchased. Um, so I need a new rollover envelope. So let me just take this out of there and put that to the side as well. Entertainment. That's another new one of oh, 10. So we're going to put 10 in there. I actually am really digging these zipper pouches. So I might just make labels to kind of go on those. Layla allowance. So my eight year old wants to start earning some money. Um, which if she's going to help me around the house, I am all about it. So we are going to do 10. So she has the opportunity to earn $5 a week. Do you guys have any good ideas for chores that an eight year old can handle? Let me know because I am still debating. Okay. So that is everything that goes in my wallet. That's all I carry with me. And we will move on. Let me finish filling this out. And yeah, I didn't have any changes to that, so that should be 4.30. All right, so these are all of my, let me get in here on the screen. These are all of my sinking funds. Um, The two with the stars, those stay in the bank. My husband gets... Um, spending money but he prefers to keep it in the bank because he likes to online shop and subscriptions stay in the bank because all three of our subscriptions that we have just automatically withdraw so it's just easier for me to keep it in there it's one less thing to, for me to have to go and redeposit so so I should say we are switching over from keeping these in separate savings accounts to cash envelopes. So um, next video, I will have totals um, because we have more money than this saved in those accounts and I wanna withdraw those and keep them um, in the envelopes. Otherwise, I may just keep them in there and then just periodically deposit money um, as the envelopes get filled up. But either way, I will have the totals of what's in there. So. This paycheck Christmas is getting 94. So it's count 50, 70, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 for Christmas. This 94. Clothing is getting. 50. I'm just putting 94 for right now because that's what's in the envelope, but I will have a total next paycheck of like what's in the bank plus what's in the envelope. Clothing is getting 50 and I just kind of rolled over what was in the other clothing envelope that I had. So getting 50, we now have 50. 70, 80, 90. The kids are going to need spring and summer clothes, so I want to get a good amount saved in there. We will also need shoes, swimsuits, they've pretty much grown out of everything. So, car maintenance is getting 38. This is another one that was in the bank and I will have a total 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 38. 
like I said, I will update those toes because I am interested to know. We are going to be needing a transmission in our focus soon, so that will be fun. Andrew already got his 35. Vacation gets 25. That's going to go in here. Okay, birthdays is going, I'm just going to do this. Birthdays gets 20. is going to get 10. I'm debating whether or not I should put this in my wallet um, because I do buy cat food and cat litter when I'm grocery shopping so I don't want to like forget it. I don't know. Maybe I might just keep it in here. So 10, 20, and 30. And I think she's going to need litter soon. Miscellaneous Holidays. This is a new one that I started within the past year and it has been an actual lifesaver. Um, I like to buy little things for my kids. Valentine's Day, um, like, you know, their Halloween costumes, Easter basket stuff, and that will all come out of here. So it's been a huge lifesaver. So it's going to get 10. This is another one that is in the bank and has more money. But right now, 10. Subscriptions already got transferred over. 9. Homeschool is going to get 5. This, I just bought printer ink, so that is why this is empty. Patio furniture. So we just moved into a new house. It has a beautiful deck built onto it, and we have no outdoor furniture, so we are doing a sinking fund for that, um, but nothing is going into it this check. Home projects. So home projects was going to get $150. We have spent it already. Um, we needed... I forget what we got. My husband got something for a project ongoing at the home. So it did get 150 but it is gone. <laughs> it went fast. Okay, savings. So emergency is going to get a 50 We are working towards a six-month emergency fund. So that is what we are saving towards this year. Um, this is another one I'll have to have a total for. Layla is going to get six. Ooh. Something small, but small steps. Sebastian gets six. Okay, so 52 week challenge. Let me go to my sheet. So this is what I am doing this year for a 52 week challenge. This is what I have left to work with um, is $40. So I am, I think five or six weeks behind. I just decided to do this. I will catch up next paycheck because I decided to do it after all of my money was already allocated. So I am just going to color off the $40 square for this check. And then next paycheck, I will break it down more and catch us up, I think, depending on how everything goes. But as of right now, I'm going to put 40 in it. And just color the one square and we will see 
how next paycheck goes. I'm also doing the $1 challenge and the $5 challenge. So that is where all of this rollover money comes into play. So let me get it sorted and then I will count it and we will figure out what to do with it. Okay, so $1 challenge, all of my ones are going into here. And this paycheck we're having one, two, three, four, five, and six. Not bad. And then five is five, ten, and fifteen. Not bad. I watch everybody's one and five dollar challenges, and I'm like, how do you guys come across so many fives? <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like I ever have that many fives. I don't know, but I probably also use up my money more than I should. So, all right. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So this is going into my, um, <laughs> poorly labeled rollover envelope. This is going to be a debt snowball payment. So this is going to be an extra payment on our credit card. Um, we unexpectedly had to pretty much um, redo our entire kitchen. So that is going towards the card um, and I'm just going to redeposit it back into the bank. And that is it for this paycheck and I will see you guys in the next one.